It's been a long time. I've had a great life here. Since 1952, Fouts Field has seen history made, but for every player. College is where you gain your best friends and your best friends for life. Coach. They'll remember who Coach Canales was and know that he was he contributed to the success of this program. Commentator. More than enough for a first now. Yeah, it's a very special place to be. Fouts has meant so much more than a football stadium. It's a key to stopping the wishbone, having your safeties come up. To others who look in and just see an old stadium that, you know, is by the side of the highway, I don't see it that way. I mean, the place is about to fall apart, but that's part of its charm, too. But I remember my first time in Fouts, I thought, this place is kind of cool. I kind of like Fouts, you know? tin can is what we called it. Hearing rattling and it was like a real loud thundering noise. I'm like, where is that coming from? Whenever the wind started rattling, I mean, those bleachers in the north and south end zone started vibrating and it kind of created the, the noise. And one of the players informed me, Coach, that's the wind blowing through the uh, stands. I didn't realize that. I said, like, you gotta be kidding. It makes that loud of noise. You go, oh yeah, it's like a crowd's in here. It's a place that will always be dear to my heart because it was my first place. And it was a place where, even though it wasn't the greatest of all, we tried to dress up and make it a great place. It's just been the one stadium I've got to know uh, in and out. Um, so the good, the bad, and the ugly that comes with fouts, you know, I've, I've gotten to kind of live it for the last 16 years. It was more than just a football stadium. Underneath that stadium and, you know, after practice being able to go inside the stadium and to be able to work out inside the stadium to lift the weights and, and all of that. Want my Coke? It's okay, you can have it. It was a good time. It was, it was, it was good. It was enjoyable. No, no. Really, you can have it. On the field, at Fouts, uh, Fouts Field, or in the locker rooms. From where I came, it was the best. As far as I'm concerned, it was the best ever. But for some, Fouts was a place where their lives and the lives of others would change forever as they stood up for what was right and made history in the state of Texas. In 1956, as you know, uh, we had Abner Haynes and Leon King, the first, first black. Raymond Clemens from Bowie, Texas, never been to school with a black guy in his life, and he protected my back. When I saw him in line to get a uniform, I could tell you stories after stories. I said, Coach, we have two blacks wanting a uniform. Of new experiences for young boys, and we find in a way to be a family. If we hadn't had Abner, I don't think it would have gone over as good as it had really did. And so it's very interesting to me that North Texas, not OU, not UT, not any of the University of North Texas, the little country people in Denton, showed some humanness. And that's just very, very uh, powerful for me to use as a life. We had a good ball club. We represented this town and this school. That was kind of unusual. That hadn't happened in this country before. It hadn't happened in the South. We were kind of in the, in the mix of things. So that's what I'd like for him to get from Mr. Haynes.
every great play, every great story. This season we left it all behind in the stadium where it belongs. As we look to the future for North Texas and Mean Green football.